A tribute to a broadcast pioneer, a mural honoring former CBS newsman Ed Bradley was dedicated in his hometown of West Philadelphia. Bradley spent 26 years with 60 Minutes and was also the first black correspondent to cover the White House. I was very proud to be a part of the celebration. Ed Bradley remains larger than life. It's almost like he's looking at us. That's great. This vibrant mural featuring Bradley in many moments from his distinguished career was dedicated with Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney and many more in attendance. And the project now watches over the West Philadelphia neighborhood Bradley called home. This is Ed Bradley's thing right here and now. And it was a labor of love taking local artists and Mural Arts Philadelphia two years to create. Muralist Ernel Martinez. We want to make sure that we capture Ed and preserve his legacy in all capacities. And it's actually a series of vignettes around Ed's main portrait, um, and uh, they're sort of highlights of his career. So we want to make sure we get Ed's different personalities, the fact that he's uh, he loved music and jazz, and so we want to get that in there as well. So it's it's sort of a multi-layered mural uh, with lots of color and vibrancy to really capture Ed's Ed's energy and creativity. Bradley loved gospel music and the legendary Dixie Hummingbirds. His favorite group was part of the three-hour celebration, a celebration 60 Minutes colleague and friend Steve Croft was honored to attend. What do you think was his greatest dream? Um, I think it, as a journalist, I think his ability to relate to people. Um, he just had a way about him, uh, a very honest way, very empathetic could sit down and talk to anybody and um, and get anybody to talk. Bradley's incredible career took him all over the world after growing up in the same streets as these children. His widow Patricia Blanchett knows exactly what advice her late husband would share with them. Number one, do it your way. Always do it your way. Be yourself. It's really important to serve. It's in serving, I think that you find your true calling, and when you find that true calling, everything falls into place. Three, two, one, all right! Ed Bradley passed on in 2006 at the age of 65. One of his favorite quotes was, be prepared, work hard, and hope for a little luck. And everyone in attendance felt not only lucky, but honored to call Bradley their own. To see somebody finally recognize our neighborhood, it, it means a lot. And now at the corner of Belmont and Wyalusing in the city of Philadelphia, the life work of this native son is on display for the world to see. It's a magnificent undertaking. The CBS Corporation is very happy to join with the Ed Bradley Family Foundation to fund the mural. The Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists and Bradley's alma mater, Cheney University, also played big roles in the creation of the mural. I'm Yuki Washington.